All right, in the previous step, we, we kind of hit a wall. We were trying to add some more sounds, but we couldn't find any sounds that were already pre-formatted to go with our 80 beats per minute and our key of C minor. Um, so I said in this video, I'll show you how to take sounds that aren't pre-formatted to fit with it and how to make them get along together. But first, for recap, let's hear what the beat sounds like currently. Okay, all right, so now we need to add another loop and to get sounds in two different keys, or if we were painting two different colors, we'll have to do some blending and matching to make them go together. In audio, that feature is called transpose. All right, trans, that's where we get the word transportation, transfer, transgender, trans, it just means to change, all right? So we're gonna go here, we're gonna click on this synth, let's preview it. All right, so it sounds cool. It's the right tempo, so it's in 80 beats per minute, but instead of C minor, it's in E minor. So let's hear what that sounds like with everything else. All right, so tempo-wise, it was on beat, but uh, that was kind of hard to listen to because the keys didn't match up, it was clashing. It was like wearing, I don't know, plaid and polka dots, unless that's in style now, I don't know. But we need to figure out how to make this E minor match up with this C minor, or how to make C minor match up with E minor. Now it's gonna be easier to make E match C because I already have two sounds in C, so it'd be quicker. So first we have to figure out how do I make E change over or transpose down to C? All right, and the way we do that is something called semitones. So if you're looking at the letters of the alphabet, we would just ask how many letters up is E from C? And so let's say we have C, D, E, all right? So there's only one letter in between it, but on a keyboard, you have sharps. So you have C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and then E. So to get from E to C, we have to go E. So D sharp is one, D is two, C sharp is three, and then back to C is four. So that would be a total of four semitones. All right, so I'm gonna control click on this. I'm gonna go down the audio stretch. And you see right there where it says minus one semitone. I'm just going to click on that four times to get that E down to a C. So there's one that's going to process. We're going to do it a couple more times. Audio stretch. Boom. All right. Two more times. And then two more times. One more time. Let's see. Okay. So now... The moment of suspense, this key right here, this loop, these strings should be in C minor. Now, once again, it's not a guarantee. It's going to be a, a Grammy Award winning hit, but they should match better together. Here's the moment of truth. So as you can see, whether you like it or not, they do fit together, all right? They, they blend better together than it was before. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to match up two different tempos.